Hi, I'm Carrie Schiffler. I am carried away. And all of the characters uh, in this week's episode have in common that they are going a little squirrely with the lockdown. And so they're trying new things and they're putting themselves out there kind of for the first time to through v, through uh, v, video, through video, uh, desperately seeking connection and attention quite like myself. <laughs> anyway, I hope it makes you laugh and I, I hope you like me. Hope you like it. This is Black Donnelly Radio. Blackout. How's it going? I know the first thing you're probably thinking is, uh, God, Marcel looks really good today. And uh, I have to agree with you. I do. <laughs> but it's a reason for this, uh, wearing my fancy coat. Because I want to show a more sensitive side. A different side of Marcel, if you will. Because I'm more than just, uh, you know, a dude who likes to talk, talk about sex and drink a lot of beer. <laughs> Because don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with that, but uh, I also, I also like to read poetry. There, it's out. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> poetry guy. So today, uh, today at 420, if you'd be so kind to uh, tune in, live video, Marcel's going to be reciting some poetry to you. Don't, don't get worried, it's not uh, any of that old. Old, uh, old language stuff, uh, you know, none of, no Shakespeare, nothing like that. So, read modern poetry and uh, maybe a little sexy too. <laughs> All right. Bernice, we're going to be baking us some special brownies today, like grown up style brownies. Uh, I had never done this before, this video thing, but this lockdown has got me going freaking squirrely. And uh, so I'm jumping on the video bandwagon because uh, I kind of needed an excuse to, uh, you know, wear some jewelry, put a bra on. Maybe clean my kitchen. But truth be known, my kitchen's only as clean as we're at the coffee pot. And from here on in, down that way, it is a disaster. Gotta love the magic. The smoke mirrors of the video world, huh? Okay, so this is the only thing I bake. Brownies in a box. Box brownies. Simple. Easy peasy. We're just going to be messing with the ingredients a little bit. Because all you need to add is a third cup of water, quarter cup of unsalted butter, and one egg. But I'm not adding no butter. Got nothing against it. I'm adding my special... Goofy oil instead. All right, I'm just gonna get started. So this package, I love it. Triple triple chocolate, it's called, because it comes with these little chocolate chips in the package, which I've already been into. <laughs> I never put them in, it's kind of redundant, right? It's already chocolatey enough. And then what happens is, once you start eating these special brownies, you get the munchies. What do you do? You open up chocolate chips, polish them off. Perfect. And open up the bag, dump it in a bowl. Yeah, so I'm kind of envious of all your sourdough breads out there, folks. Everywhere you look, sourdough, sourdough. Everybody's making the sourdough. And you're treating it like it's your firstborn. All soft light and all pretty light. <laughs> Come on. But 60 days ago, for the lockup, you were all gluten free. There you were, you're all celiac and on the keto diet and stuff. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> all right, what am I doing? Okay, I'm going to put the water in. I'm gonna crack the egg. So easy. Oh, and the beautiful thing about this box brownie mix says don't use a blender. Use a spoon, a wooden spoon. It's like, good thing, I don't got no blender. All right, here's the, here's the good stuff. Ooh, yeah. And then it says to just mix it, stir it, 50 strokes. Yeah, I'm not really gonna count. You can just eyeball it. Mix her all up. <sighs> yeah, these are long days, aren't they? Long days, long nights. I tell you. I'm eating a, eating a few of these special brownies. <laughs> so when you take them out of the oven, let them sit for about 20 minutes before you cut them up. Because they get all gooey, right? You want to cut them up into squares before you stick them in the freezer. And my God, only have one, okay? They taste so good, you just want to fill your face with them. But <laughs> personally, I like to be able to get off my couch and go to the bedroom and brush my teeth before I go to bed. Because these things, they will render you paralyzed <laughs> if you're not careful. <laughs> so 
So you see it all starting to come together there? Yep. Yeah, I'm eating lots, lots these days. My daddy always says, well, it's because, Bernice, you're eating for three. <laughs> daddy. <laughs> I love this old wooden spoon. I got to tell you, I've had this wooden spoon since I was a little girl. I used to get me some wicked old spankings with this thing. <laughs> Surprised it didn't break it over my butt. <laughs> I was a bit of a troublemaker. Not like my sister. My sister, perfect Eunice. Eunice and Bernice. Yeah, she never got into any trouble. Okay. So now it says, you got to put it in one of those nine by, I don't know, it's a square pan, but I don't have a square pan. All I have is like a pie plate, and it says you have to prepare it, grease it, and then add parchment paper. And I'm like, isn't that kind of overkill? Like, why would you do both? So I'm just going to grease it with some special goofy oil. So these would be doubly infused triple chocolate brownies. <laughs> So I'm just like using my fingers to get it all in there. And then I'm going to lick my fingers afterwards. <laughs> you got to be careful though. One time I licked, I licked the bowl and the spatula, the spoon and everything. And uh, I totally forgot the brownies were even in the oven. Totally forgot. Yep. <laughs> Smoke. Why does it smell like pot in here? <laughs> yeah. Sneaks up on you. All right. The lick. I'm gonna dump this whole mess. Ugh, it's really thick batter because it's chewy, gooey, brownie goodness, man. Oh, yeah. Dump it all in there. Yep. Yeah, I've been doing all sorts of stuff to keep busy, right? Cleaned up all my cupboards, all my closets. Don't know where anything is. I've been drinking all the beer. Can't take empties back yet, so we've got a whole room full of them right there. Can't open the door to get in or out of these walls. The ceiling empties. What else have I been doing? Oh, yeah, I tried to sew. Make the masks, you know, do that Good Samaritan thing. Make the masks for all the frontline workers, but I can't sew. I'm all thumbs. I can glue gun. <laughs> if, you can't, if you can't fix it with a glue gun, it's going in the bin. <laughs> all right. Oh, there's still lots in here to lick, but I, oh, Bernice, you be good. You be good, girl. Get all of it in the pan. Ugh. Yeah, so that goes into a preheated, I did not preheat the oven. Preheat at what? 325. like 35, 40 minutes. All right, I'm just going to set that there. Well, I don't know. I think that's it. That's this video stuff's pretty okay. And I, oh, and I've got the camera facing me so I can kind of see. I look pretty good. <laughs> oh, made a bit of a mess there. All right. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do next, but this has been pretty damn easy. So I'll probably do it again sometime. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bacon with Bernice. How do I turn this freaking thing off? Story time with Marcel. Like I said before, I like poetry. Took a lot for me to admit that, man, but all right. I don't like all of it. I just like the cool shit. And I, I got I got a poem here that I want to read to you. So story time with Marcel. Sit back, grab yourself a cool one, or maybe a mug of tea or some fine wine. Just relax. And let me take you into Umbilicus by uh Carrie Skiff Skiffer uh, some German name there. All right, this one's called Sigh and Sizzle. The bleach blonde beach babe bounces in, a one woman parade of bubbles, boobs, gum, and giggles. What an entrance. I'd like to enter her, mumbles from within. <laughs> the applause of hands stuffed into front pockets, whistles stifled by Budweiser's long necked hard mouth. A moment of silence for all to savor the crack of nutshells beneath her stilettos. Crunch, 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 crunch. Eyes find her seat before she does, plunging the high cushion with her own smothered in pink lycra. She leans forward to order the bartender around. 
Benson hedges his bet he'll be taking her home tonight. Ah, uh, one look at her and I can see right through to her bedroom. All red sheets and them fancy vanilla candles. <laughs> Benson laughs a smoke pod beneath his wheat pool cap, catching Blondie's eyes. Hoisted in a Walmart Wonder Bra ripoff. Cross my darts. She can't resist anything cheap, taking a light from Benson. A match struck, a strike made, a chorus of rounds, and round and round they'll go, round the block they've both been, both seen, same red lights, never green. They've heard and had the slamming door and felt their face on the barroom floor. <laughs> Come on! That is good shit. That's poetry, man. I really want to meet this Carrie, Sh Carrie Schiffler. <laughs> I got this book on Amazon. Fucking awesome. It's all shit like that, eh? No kind of sexy stuff. And, and it's got artwork, too. It's got, like, these really hot, like, yeah. Apparently your daughter is a photographer and an artist. Look at all his artwork in there. All right. That was story time with Marcel. I hope you like seeing a different side of me. Thanks for uh, joining uh, Black Donnelly Media, Black Donnelly Radio. Thanks for black it out. I'm Eunice. I'm Bernice's sister. I know we don't sound very much alike, and well, that's because I stayed in school longer than she did. Well, Daddy always said, Eunice, you got all the brains, and Bernice, you got all the uh, enthusiasm. <laughs> anyway, she did inspire me to make a video and to share my garden with you my vegetable garden. I think it's very important that we grow our own food, and even more important than that is to. Uh, do a ritual dance of fertility for your garden success and it's really important that you do it when your rainness is in retrograde and I can tell because I'm in tune that your anus is in retrograde so it's perfect timing okay here's my fertility dance maybe I'll inspire you to do the same I am spent. I hope that was as good for you as it was for me and for our vegetables. <laughs> Thanks. Again, I'm Eunice. We'll see you soon. Namaste. Stay.